The Taliban will resume publicly stoning women to death, with a leader of the Taliban saying in a radio address, you may call it a violation of women's rights when we publicly stone or flog them for committing adultery because it conflicts with your democratic principles. But I represent Allah and you represent Satan. And this, oddly, is Russia's now working on removing the Taliban from its list of banned terror organizations, saying they have more important matters to discuss but didn't elaborate. The champions of human rights have also complained that U.S. drones are violating their airspace and that they won't let them join the U.N. But this, as the U.S. says, you know, it, it's it's not just me, it's the whole world, buddy. They also continue to play dumb with Pakistan as the two countries exchange fire over their harboring of terrorists. Meanwhile, the Afghan resistance has been inflicting chaos on them through hit and run attacks, with that resistance being led by Masood's son, who goes by the nickname the Young Lion of Panjshir. And all of this is Taliban members continue to complain about their nine to fives and how boring it is compared to jihad, with it turning into another example of winning being easy, but governing being harder. Follow to stay in the loop.